that uh, it was. <laughs> it was uh, uh, for the fans a great, great night uh, when uh, you all won the Southern Tag Title. Uh, but you've got uh, in Memphis, Tennessee, at the Coliseum, you've got yourself a uh, tremendous. Well, before we get into that, we're going to polish the belts up, and we're taking them down to Selma, Tennessee. That's walking tall country, right? I'm going to walk around with tippy toes so I don't feel out of place. <laughs> okay. We're going to be in summer tonight. We're going to yeah. be over there tonight. tonight. Yeah, let me let me just say, this this is a, a great situation for Bill and I to be in. We won the titles last week. We were very fortunate to do that. Now, the first thing we heard, that was Monday night, the first thing we heard Tuesday morning, the promotion called us and said, well, the bounty, hunter, the bounty hunters naturally want a return match. And we said, well, we don't really have to give them one, do we? And they said, no, you don't. At least not for 30 days. You don't have to give anybody one. So we got to thinking. They said, but they want one really bad. And I told Bill, I said, you know, we may just give them that match, but let's add a little stipulation on there. Chuck Malone has been in everybody's <laughs> hair, so we decided to get in his hair. We told the promotion, if they want that match bad enough, if they want us to put up those belts, then Chuck Malone will have to put up his hair. And do you know that idiot agreed to do it? So what's going to happen down there Monday night you're talking about Chuck Malone packing his bags and leaving. What's going to happen Monday night in Memphis is this. He will probably leave because nobody is going to be able to stand the humiliation that he's going to suffer. He's going to get beat by a woman, and then he's going to have his head shaved. And after that, nobody will be able to show their face. Right. Well, he said he's going to be down there, so I know that. Handsome Jimmy, yes, sir. You know, I got a, I got a hell of an idea, Daddy. I got a hell of an idea, baby. You know, Handsome Jimmy, the hottest thing, baby, in the world, baby. You know, this is Star Wars, mama. You know, everybody wants to pay to see Handsome Jimmy. And what I want, what I want right now, I want to talk to the Kingfish. You know, Kingfish, and I want to talk to Superstar, my partner, Superstar. Can you imagine Handsome Jimmy, Superstar, and Kingfish in the same ring at the same time with, with, baby, Chuck Malone and the Bounty Hunters? What do you think about that, Star? That's a great idea, and I believe we'd like to do that. But listen, hey, handsome. handsome, will you just listen for a minute? Come back to us for one minute. It's a title match. That means you can't have a six-man title match, right? And the main thing we want is to scalp Chuck Malone, and we can't do that in a six-man tag, or he won't have it because the belt is on the line, and that's the only reason he'll put his hair on the his line, right? Yeah. Hey, brother, if that's the only thing you're worried about is Chuck Malone losing his hair, you know, handsome Jimmy will pull him bald-headed, Daddy. I'll take his hair one at a time, Daddy. I'll pull the man, forget shaving the hair. Kingfish, do it, Daddy. Do a little pull. You got a lot of pull here, baby. You got some pull, Daddy. So pull handsome Jimmy in on the main event, Daddy. <laughs> handsome, just like, you know, some things he doesn't understand. He's putting me on the spot here. Yeah. See, here's what, we're, here's what we're trying to say, handsome. You're putting me in the middle and on the spot. I, like Bill said, I'd love it. I'd be a great main event. But... It's a title match. If, if we don't put up the titles, Chuck Malone's not going to put up his hair, so we're going to have a four-man tag. What do you mean four-man tag, man? I said, I want a six-man tag. This is what's happening. The people deserve the six-man tag. They want to see a six-man tag. This is what's happening. You know what, King Fish? I think I feel a little jealousy here. I think I feel... Hey, Short Wiz, go play with some sharp people. I think I feel a little jealousy here, King Fish. I think I feel I'm just a little, you know, I'm getting some bad vibes. You know, I'm getting some bad vibes from Kingfish here, baby. Let me, uh, maybe later they can uh, get this thing together and uh, talk about a six-man or something like that. What we're trying to do, Handsome, is trying to tell you that we are the tag team champions. We're going to defend the belts, not in a six-man tag, but in a four-man tag. There's no jealousy. Your, your music was great, baby. I'll be the first one to admit it. It was fine. There's no jealousy, but we're, we can't have a six-man match and get his hair at stake. And I think the people want to see Chuck Malone bald-headed more than they want to see a six-man tag, so that's what we're going to give them. Right. You know, Kingfish, and I want to tell you something right now, very honestly, I think you hold something against Handsome Jimmy. I think, baby, every time since Handsome Jimmy hit Memphis, I think since I hit Memphis, Tennessee, Daddy, you know Handsome Jimmy's the hottest property, Daddy, since Coca-Cola, baby. And I want to say something, I feel a little tension because, you know, the, the Kingfish is not as popular as it used to be because all the people dig Handsome Jimmy now, you understand? This is what's happening now, baby. Handsome Jimmy's what's happening now. You know, just, just a few months, Handsome Jimmy's been in Memphis, Tennessee. Hey, already, Handsome Jimmy's got his own candy store. Go by, they say, Handsome Jimmy, since you get some free candy, fans. 
do it for handsome Jimmy, baby. That's Overton Square, Daddy. This I know is what's what happening, problem. baby. You think we're trying to cut you out of the main event, right? What your problem is, handsome, is we can't cut you out of something you weren't cut in on to begin with. You're not in the main event. We're the main event. What the problem is, you're on a preliminary match. Do you know what a preliminary match is? That's where the promoters pr pr put preliminary wrestlers. That's where you are. That's the whole problem. Let me tell you the whole thing right now. I know exactly what it is, Daddy. You know you are jealous of Hanson's body, Daddy. You are jealous of my old lady, Daddy. You are jealous of my record, baby. You know FM 100 plays my record, and they, they request it daily, Daddy. They request it every minute, baby. You are jealous, Daddy. You are jealous, baby. That's what's happening, Kingfish. You are jealous. You're a sick man. You're very sick, baby. Let me tell you something, handsome Jimmy. I'm not jealous of you because let me tell you just exactly what you are. No, you guys don't have to come out here. We'll settle this right now. It ain't no way I'm going to be jealous of a big fag-looking jerk like you. You've got bleach blonde hair. You've got those long, goofy handlebar mustache. You've got a tattoo painted on that queer ear of yours. And you've got one fingernail painted silver. Now, what's that for? Huh? You You're think right, I'm jealous Daddy. of you? You're crazy. You're right, Daddy. I want to tell you what this is for, baby. This thumbnail is painted because handsome hitchhikes at night. And this is nothing. This thumb is nothing, Daddy, because you ought to see my toes. Yeah, you hitchhike at night. You know why you hitchhike at night? I don't think you hitchhike at night. Ever since you've been down in Mempho, as you like to call it, from the Big Apple, you bum rides off of me and Dundee. You didn't even bring a car down here. We have to haul your butt around, and you call it back hitchhiking at night. You don't hitchhike nowhere. I want to tell you something, baby, right now. This is what's happening, Daddy. Hit the Jimmy, what's happening, baby. I want to tell you something right now. You did this boy wrong. You did this man wrong right here, your own flesh and blood. Your old lady's got skinny legs, and your old lady's old lady's got skinnier legs, Daddy. Let me tell you something, man. The only thing you've done since you've been in Memphis is screwed up this boy's mind. You know what I did for him? I did nothing for him because that's what he needed done for him. He needed to make it on his on his own. What'd you do? You come along, you got his hair bleached out blonde. He looks like a fag just like, to, like you. You screwed his mind up. He don't know which way he's going because he's got his nose stuck so far up your rear end that he don't know guy, what Come on now. Let's right? You just keep my name out of it, okay? Yeah, that's that's it. Him. Go ahead. You stick with him. He's your real pal here. Look at him. Look what he's done for you. You're nothing, daddy. You're garbage, baby. You're garbage, daddy. If you want to prove this, daddy, get in that ring right now, baby. Go we'll prove this right now. No Let's get it, yeah. Let's take time out and we're going to be back with you in just a moment.